Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> about you, bro? I think that's a first try. <laughs> first try. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so Monday morning back in at Thornton 100. Me and Evan are cracking on in the workshop. We have so much going on this week. It's absolutely ridiculous. We have motorcycles everywhere. This morning, me and Evan are working on Alan Wynne Jones' Scrambler 1200 XT. Now this bike is coming along very, very, very well. So it is pretty much finished, I believe, isn't it, Evan? Guys, look at how cool this bike is. So tank has all been ceramic coated and polished and flatted. It looks really good. So we've got the seat back on, we've got the side panels on. Front end is pretty much done. I've got to 3D print a little splash guard for there, um, which will also hold and stop that from bashing against the, the tire. Um, so the discs are all in with the modified calipers. Everything lines up really well and everything's got very good clearance. So what I've got to do now is create some satin detail. So Alan has asked that we've just run a pinstripe around that and I'm not sure about that. So what I've done is I've come up with this design, which is a little bit weird. I don't know. I kind of like doing this kind of stuff, but what it is, is essentially the white pieces on this bit of paper are going to be satin black decal. And I think that will look really cool. But what we're going to do is going to hand it over to Alex now, and then I'm going to give it to him and say, Alex, make me one of them on our vinyl plotter. So Alex can take you through the process of how he's gonna do that too. So, reckon you can do that? Yeah, man, we'll take a photo of it and then I'll scale it into like CAD or Illustrator. Yeah. Make all your lines actually legit. Yeah, well, yeah, these aren't very straight, are they? They're a bit wonky. And then we'll get it on the plotter. Wing it. All right, cool, well, let's do that then. Let's get it scanned into the computer and then get it on the plotter, get it cut and see what it looks like. Looks good. Guys, you just had a package delivered. With my friend DMO. Ah, uh, Evan. Check it out. Uh, oil candy. These sent us the classic, the DMO special. Look at all of this in here. Fuel the team, keep us going. A kilo of candy and all these extras as well. We've got Cheetos, Biscoff, Nerds. Hey, look at these flavors of Kit Kat. You've never seen a Kit Kat like that. Big shouts, DMO. Oil candy as well. Big love, this is gonna make sure all of our teeth rot nice and quickly. Okay, so Alex absolutely smashed that. Super, super quick, thanks Alex. No cool, right, so we have this ready to go on there. And I don't know if he's gonna like it. I've literally just chatted, I've just sent Alan some pictures of his bike, but I'm gonna stick this on here now, have a little look, see if I like it, send a picture to him, see what he says. If I don't like it, I don't know. Look, let's just stick it on. See what it looks like. Right, me and Alex have been designing these knee pads and they actually look so cool. And I'm really happy that Alan Wynn Jones is gonna be able to replace them when they eventually do wear out and polish up on his knees and end up being glossy. We'll just whip them off, put some satin ones on again. So check out the photos here. Well happy with what they look like. Honestly, it looks so sick and Alan Wynn Jones loves them too. So up next, the green bike. Okay guys, so here's one I made earlier. So these tires were actually on the WFB and they're on the WFB for a couple of hundred miles, um, which coincide perfectly with this bike because this bike's done about 400 miles. So we wanted to change up the style on this bike. So we're gonna use these, which we wanted the tire decals on. So we just give them a bit of a clean up. Then we have the EBC wavy disc and I've got a new bottom race for the bearing too. And then we'll be able to get this front end in nice and safely. Get it in. Right. Ooh. Bit of a tool. 
Let's tell everyone what the torque setting is. Go on off the top of your head. 40 newton meters hey. to preload it. Preload. Back it off. Yeah. 15 newton meters. 15. Lock nut on, up to 40 newton meters. Right, moment of truth. It's not moment of truth, I know he's fit. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Get Man, these forks are going to look so good. I can't wait to see these with those tie decals. Initially, get it out of the way. Get that one. What I'm going to do <clears throat> new wheel spacer, new wheel spacer. That goes in there. Put a new one in. And then one wheel, one hand. Right. Did I measure it right is a question. There you go. Straight in, down there, pressing, down there, right. <laughs> oh, guys, oh, guys, look at this. What we got? Rainbows, all right, all right that goes in there. Whew. Ah, do you know what the issue is here? Do you know what the issue is here? No disc spaces. Where's that front wheel with the disc spaces in? No, sorry, it's a hub. It's a hub? God. Oh. What are we doing? Get ahead of myself. Turn your brain, I'm just too excited to get. Too excited. Space of shoes. Let's have a look. What have we got? Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I don't know about you, but I think that's a first try. <laughs> first try. <laughs> that's sick. That looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Grab that other, that other curler pure. Which means all we need to do now, if this caliper lines up, there you go, is change the discs and the tyres on this one, and then put the disc spaces in, and then put it in the front of, front of this. Now this bike could be one of the quickest turnarounds we've ever done. Pretty pretty happy with that, looks good. What do you reckon? We're, we're spot on. It's perfect that side. I think the disc is bent on this side. Yeah. The disc is actually bent, I actually bent it. Because, um, yeah. Because you're an animal. Because I'm an animal. <laughs> right, looks good, what do you reckon? Yeah, sweet. Right, let's get this new wheel built. These new tires on here and let's get this bike back together looking like a real motorbike. Okay, so Thursday morning, Evan has been cracking on with the new front end on this supercharged bobber, and we've got the new tires on, ready to go. We need to change the brake calipers. We've got brake lines, I believe. Well, they, they should be the same as the other Brembo's that we're doing, but- New build. New build, new, new build, so we'll who see. knows, right. Cool, so we've got to do the brake calipers. Um, we've got to do the brake caliper bolts. We're going to put a titanium bolt kit on this one, aren't we? So yeah. We also need to engineer a new titanium bolt kit for the supercharged bikes, because yeah. we need all of these bolts here. We need all the bolts that go on the stator cover here as well, um, and then everything else. So let's do that, and then we need to get the back wheel in, swap out the tires for that one. I am going to go and take the painted side panels to the painter right now because we painted on the old customer's logo, so we just get them done over all green again. And then this bike is really starting to come along now, so we have all the measurements now we need for the front mudguard, I believe. Yeah. We should be able to work it out. Instead of scanning it, we should be able to work it out because we already have loads and loads and loads of measurements from other parts on bikes as well. So this bike is absolutely flying together, and I'd like to see this bike done, maybe done and dusted, in the next week and a half, two weeks, something like that. So yeah, I think it's quite achievable. So yeah, we're gonna crack on now, get these tires on, do the calipers, do everything else, and then get this bike ready for sale. 